All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever-glorious book, but as for those who believe and do good deeds, their Lord will guide them because of their faith. Streams will flow at their feet in the gardens of bliss. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. One of the graces that the Almighty Allah bestowed on his servants is that he made for every good work that man performs good fruits. One of the greatest works that has good effects on the individuals and the society is belief in Allah. The Prophet peace be upon him showed us the reality that belief should be present in the heart of the believer. When Jibreel asked him about belief, the Prophet peace be upon him thereupon replied, it is to believe in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers, and the last day, and that you believe in destiny, that's qadr, its bad and good consequences. Faith is not just a word to be uttered by the tongue, rather it is a belief stilled in the heart, an acknowledgement with the tongue and actions of the body. Faith is something that's settled in the heart and is manifested by actions that show adherence to the commands of Allah and avoidance of his prohibitions. Imam al-Hasan al-Basri was once asked, are you a believer? He replied, belief is of two kinds. If you're asking me about belief in Allah, his angels, scriptures, messengers, paradise and resurrection, then I am a believer. But if you are asking me about the words of Allah the Almighty, when he said, true believers are those whose hearts tremble with awe when Allah is mentioned, whose faith increases when his revelations are recited to them, then I do not know whether or not I am one of them. When the true belief touches the hearts and guides the souls, it will have strong impact in purifying the soul and the mind, and it will have its effects on individuals and society. Among the fruits of such belief is that it leads to the high morality because faith and honesty are related to one another. The Prophet peace be upon him said, no faith for those lack, lack in honesty, and no faith for those who do not respect their promise. Also, belief and modesty are related to each other. Safwan ibn Sulaim said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was asked, Can a believer be a coward? He replied, Yes. He was asked, Can a believer be a miser? He said, Yes. He was again asked, Can a believer be a liar? He said, No. Some scholars equated belief to truthfulness, saying, Genuine belief means that one says the truth, even if he thinks it would harm him, and to avoid lying if he, even if he thinks it would protect him. Thus, when a person has high moralities, it means that he has true faith. A believer always utters good words that build, correct, and develop, not those words that distract, spoil, or cause damage. Our religion is a religion of ethics, reformation, and construction. Whoever exceeds in these manners, he exceeds in faith. Among the fruits of faith are tranquility and inner peace. When faith controls the human soul, it will be filled with tranquility, certainty, and contentment, and thus will attain happiness in this world and the hereafter. The true believer realizes that what has come to him could have never missed him, and that what has missed him could have never come to someone else. This makes a believer always thinking of Allah in times of easiness and patient in the states of hardships. The Almighty Allah says, He will guide the heart of anyone who believes in him. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, how wonderful is the case of a believer. There is good for him in everything, and this applies only to a believer. If prosperity attends him, he expresses gratitude to Allah, and that's good for him. 
If adversity befalls him, he endures it patiently, and that's better for him. Among these fruits is that faith protects a believer from committing major sins. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The one who commits an illegal sexual intercourse is not a believer at the time of committing illegal sexual intercourse. And a thief is not a believer at the time of committing theft. And a drinker of alcohol is not a believer at the time of drinking. The true, the true believer also avoids anything that harms his brother, such as mockery and evil thoughts. The Almighty Allah said, Believers, no one group of men should cheer at, at another, who may after all be better, better than them. No one group of women should jeer at another, who may after all be better than them. Do not speak ill of one another. Do not use offensive nicknames for one another. How bad it is to be called a mischief maker after accepting faith. Those who do not repent of this behavior, behavior are evildoers. Allah also said, believers avoid many suspicions. Some suspicions are sinful. And do not spy on one another or speak ill of people behind their backs. Would any one of you like to eat the flesh of your dead brother? No, you would hate it. So be mindful of Allah. Allah is ever relenting, most merciful. Belief instills in the heart the value of thinking well of others. As Allah said, when you hear it, the lie, why did believing men and women not think well of their own people and declare, this is obviously a lie? Among the fruits of faith is the support and help from Allah because genuine faith makes a person under the protection of Allah. As the Almighty Allah said, for Allah is certainly with the believers. The word with in this sentence means support, help and assistance. The Almighty Allah also said, O oh, you who believe, if you help Allah, Allah will help you and make you stand firm. Allah the Almighty says, Indeed, we will support our messengers and those who believe during the life of this world and on the day when the witnesses will stand. And incumbent upon us was the support of the believers and those whom, to whom hypocrites said, Indeed, the people have gathered against you, so fear them but it merely increased them in faith. And they said, sufficient for us is Allah, and he is the best disposer of affairs. So they returned with favor from Allah and bounty, no harm having touched them, and they pursued the pleasure of Allah, and Allah is the possessor of great bounty. One of the fruits of belief is for Allah Most High to entrench the love of man into the hearts of others. So the true believer shall be lenient and easy to deal with. In this regard, Allah Most High says, Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds, the Most Merciful will appoint for them affection. That's to say that whenever the man sincerely gets close to Allah, he, glorified as he, would make the hearts of the believers turn to him in love, a point which is recorded in the Qudsi Hadith, wherein Allah the Almighty says, When Allah loves a slave, he calls out Jibreel and says, I love so and so, so love him. Then Jibreel loves him. After that, Jibreel announces to the inhabitants of the heavens that Allah loves so and so, so love him. And the inhabitants of the heavens the angels also love him and then make people on earth love him and my servant continues to draw near to me with nafila subrogatory deeds until I love him when I love him I am his hearing with which he hears and his sight with which he sees and his hand with which he strikes and his foot with which he walks were he to ask some, something of me, I would surely give it to him. And were he to seek refuge with me, I would surely grant him refuge. Another 
fruits of true belief in Allah is that it is a main reason for alleviating disasters and removing afflictions. Prophet peace be upon him said, shouldn't I tell you about something that if one of you is afflicted with harm or disaster, Allah will alleviate his affliction in case he says it. The companions said yes. The Prophet said, the supplication of the noon, there is no deity except you, exalted you are. Indeed, I have been of the wrongdoers. For Allah Most High said afterwards, so we responded to him and saved him from the distress, and thus we saved the believers. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that our Master Prophet Muhammad is his valerie and messenger. Muslim brothers, one of the greatest fruits of Iman is that it realizes social security and safety. If belief is well established in the heart of the true believer, it will serve as a source for security and stability. Thus, people's souls and property are safe. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The Muslim is the one from whose tongue and hand the people are safe, and the believer is the one from whom the people's lives and wealth are safe. So the ethics of true believers prevent them from terrifying others or committing aggression, even if they are non-Muslims. Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever kills a muahad will not smell the fragrance of paradise, even though its fragrance may be smelled from a distance of 40 years. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, explicitly stated that he who harms his neighbors is not perfect Muslims, or who eats to the full while his neighbors are hungry. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, by Allah he does not believe, by Allah he does not believe, by Allah does he does not believe, repeating it three times. It was said, who is that, O oh, messenger of Allah? He said, that person whose neighbor does not feel, feel safe from his evil. So, true beliefs drive man to do good, help others, cultivate his manners, and whose impact is reflected in his behavior and dealing with other creatures. He even shows mercy for man, animals, and animate objects, just to attain the pleasure of Allah Most High. And they give food in spite of love for it to the needy, the orphan, the captive, saying, we feed you only for the continents of Allah. We wish not from you reward or gratitude. One of the greatest fruits of belief in Allah is the great rewards prepared by Allah for the true believers in the hereafter. Allah says, indeed those who have believed and done righteous deeds, their Lord will guide them because of their faith. Beneath them rivers will flow in the gardens of pleasure and give good tidings to those who believe and do righteous deeds, that they will have gardens in paradise beneath them. In the Qudsi hadith, Allah Most High states, the Prophet said, Allah said, I have prepared for my pious worshippers such things as no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard of, and nobody has ever thought of. All that's reserved, besides which, all that you have seen is nothing. Then he recited, no soul knows what's kept hidden in reverse for them of joy as reward for what they used to do. So we should do our best to reach this degree of Iman on the level of conviction, sayings and actions, and thus Show mercy, cooperation, truthfulness, shyness, generosity, and chastity. On the other hand, we should keep away from lying, cheating, betrayal, backbiting, mischief, and injustice. O oh Allah, make Iman endear to us and make us hate disbelief, immorality, and disobedience, and make us from those who are rightly guided. 
Oh Allah, protect our country and all world's countries.